Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the world famous tool shed located at 1073 Main Street, next door to the Webster Square Firehouse, where Christopher Roy, 36 years old, lost his life this past weekend fighting a fire and uh, leaves behind a nine year old daughter. And uh, our hearts and thoughts go out to the family and all the uh, firefighters who have to go through this on a daily basis and the other public servants who do everything for us and um, you know what can you say so anyways back to the tool shed business I don't know if we're gonna be open on Saturday uh, I have volunteered my parking lot for any parking that the fire department needs so uh, Saturday is gonna be totally up in the air but Wednesday through Friday definitely one to five Saturday could be open one to five but I don't know all right so Anyways, we have a battery charger, uh, $11.50. Radnor, um, this is for MIG and TIG welding applications, 10 feet of hose, carbon dioxide. Uh, that's $50. Two sets of wrenches from Ace Hardware, $15 for the metric, $15 for the standard, brand new in the package. $60 for the Delta turning tools. SK ratchet socket set half inch drive that is sae i believe and it is thirty dollars bargain table this week is a dollar uh milwaukee half inch impact on ninety dollars like things like new 37.50 for the porta cable laminate router we have a skill right angle grinder this is 20 bucks thirty dollars on the bosch seven and a quarter circular saw oldie Milwaukee Sawzall 2250. Milwaukee right angle drill. Whole hog, this is $125. Got a planer, $90. Don't have the handle. I got a planer. This is $125. I do have the handle and the in and out feed tables. $30 for the router and router table. Uh, Craftsman top box, 70 bucks. 34 inch radial drill press, 150. Craftsman router table with router. This is $90. This one is obviously a little bit more modern than the other ones. Have Browning hearing protection. The compact ones are $15. The larger ones are also $15. Snap-on. Puller set. Uh, I can't remember what the model number is on this. Thought it might say it on the side of the box. This is $500. Um, we have a couple other puller sets, another snap-on set. This is 150, had one of these a little while ago. Um, I can't remember what the hell they call it, this miniature slide pull. This is a, another snap-on puller set, this is $200. We have a Craftsman workbench with the top on it and the backing and set of lights that are laying over here. This is $100. Uh, DeWalt. Um, Plate joiner, this is $55, uh, $15 on the very destructive looking tool to grab logs or pallets or something, $5 on the bag of, uh, what the hell do you call them, uh, wire nuts, $9.50 on the Weller kit, Senko Durospin with the screws, this is $70, $2 on the box of little screws a porta cable compressor this is uh, ninety dollars a couple small heaters those are nine dollars and fifty cents a couple tarps there was another one in the back there's a five dollars each another uh, pallet puller that's fifteen dollars uh, small um, scroll saw twenty five dollars fifty five dollars on the craftsman three eighths half inch and quarter inch drive set the Allied two-ton engine hoist. This is $125. There was one other thing back here. A couple house jacks, a matched pair, $30 each. All right, that's enough of spinning around. Snap-on line wrenches, $135. Uh, Bako retractable fluorescent work light. This is $15. Topside sump pump, 15 bucks. A couple little DeWalt kits, brand new in the package. What did I write on this? $8.50. Uh, 
The impact one is $12.50. Set of drill bits, this is $11.50. And $7.50 on this guy. $20 on the Morse uh, cable cutter. $70 on the snap-on puller. $15 on the 24-inch rigid wrench. And $10 on this rigid wrench. And last but not least, $22.50 on the large rigid strap wrench. All right, I know I forgot some stuff like that air hose sitting right there. That is $9, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff. The bargain table again is at a dollar this week. And again, Saturday, don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and be here. But again, the uh, fire department is uh, has free reign with my parking lot. So anyways, uh, again, Christopher Roy's family, I'm sure you're not watching this, but our thoughts go out with you and uh, that's it. Have a great day.